my friends and welcome back to my channel really fast i just want to say look at my new painting i did i asked on my instagram story what you guys want to know more about and i got an overwhelming amount of responses saying sponsorships i also just made a post today announcing excitedly that as of this week my sponsorships now exceed my monthly expenses, which means I no longer even have to sell my art to make a living. I just get paid to make it and share it with the world, which I do anyways for free. I would be doing that anyways, no matter whether I got paid for it or not. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I went about getting these sponsorships or these brand deals. There are different kinds of sponsored posts. There are long-term and short-term deals. Some companies will just wanna pay you for one post. Some companies wanna sign you on to a year-long contract or more, where you have a set rate for a set number of deliverables, whether that be a story, a TikTok video, a Instagram reel, you have a contract stating what you need to deliver to them in order to get paid each month. There are also sponsorships that are commission-based affiliate programs, which means you only get paid if you get people to purchase things through your specific link. So the sponsorships I have fall under a couple of these different structured categories. I am part of an affiliate program for an art supply company. I have a long-term contract with an energy drink company. I am also contracted by a new live streaming platform to use their platform X amount of times a week just to live stream. And I'm currently negotiating deals with a couple other companies as well for specific monthly posts to promote their services. So how the heck do you get sponsored? There are a couple different ways. Once you reach a certain amount of following and engagement, it is common that brands will actually reach out to you to offer you or ask you if you're interested in sponsoring their product. I'm at the point now where I get these emails very often, so I don't have to do very much work to go out and seek out these sponsorships. But you can also take the initiative to apply for these programs yourself. The main platform that I know of that I have used to apply for these affiliate programs is called CJ Affiliates. I found this actually when I was looking into the Michaels Craft Store Affiliate Program and they referred me to the CJ Affiliate website to sign up and make myself a profile. Now on your profile, you can link different websites of yours. I have one for my Instagram, one for my TikTok, and one for my website. You log in and you click on advertisers, it looks something like this. Now here I'm filtering specifically for clothing. So any brand or company that sells clothing or has clothing as one of their keywords will appear here. I'm gonna click here on the American Eagle program. Here we have the network earnings bar as a green, fully green bar. The, the more green that that shows, it just means the more that they're paying their creators. You'll see something here that says a three month EPC and it says 23.59 US dollar, seven day EPC, 24.25 US dollar and sale commission one to 2%. Now, EPC stands for earnings per click. A lot of these affiliate programs are based on how many clicks you get to your specific link. Now, so on average, American, American Eagle affiliates are earning per click $23.59. For these pay-per-click type of affiliate programs, I'm copying and pasting an HTML code that they provide for me into my website like this, so that once I go to my website, you can see that they now have an ad on my site and every click on that ad helps get me paid. Although I am an affiliate for a program in this structure, it's not necessarily my favorite because it requires you to be constantly selling, being a salesperson, getting people to be clicking your link because once they stop clicking, you stop earning. So it's kind of like a job. So as an artist, I prefer to do things where I get paid to do something I am already doing. For example, posting a video of me painting one of my paintings. I'm already going to do that. So it's very easy for me to just have a drink in my hand while I'm doing it. It doesn't take a ton of extra effort from me. Another great way to get in touch with brands that you're interested in working with is to reach out, find an email, or reach out on their Instagram team. Someone is looking through those Instagram messages. It just requires a little bit of digging. You have to be willing to look for this information. So for example, how I even found CJ Affiliates is I Googled Michael's Craft Store Affiliate Program because that is someone that I thought I wanted to align with. So you type that into Google. Michael's Craft Store affiliate program. It's already in my search history. First link that pops up is affiliate program at Michael's. So although the name CJ Affiliates is probably not something that you've heard, it's not part of your daily vocabulary, you might think, Kayla, that just seems really complicated and what brands actually use that? 
Michael's Craft Store, Carhartt, Forever 21, Hot Topic. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. It's not just clothing. Any industry you can think of, you can type that in and find a brand actively looking for affiliates. When you are actually applying for these programs, you cannot be discouraged by being declined. You have to remember that there are hundreds of thousands of people applying for each program. So don't be shy with your applications. I wouldn't say that you should go through and apply for every single brand, especially ones that you really don't even like or want to work with. But start thinking about what companies do I support on a daily or weekly basis? Or what companies are in the same niche as my content? I started paying attention to where I bought coffee, the clothing that I purchase, the art supplies that I purchase the camera that I use, the editing software that I use, what app do I live stream on, who do I use for my business taxes, what accounting software do I use, what canopy company do I use to set up at a market, what brand of desk am I sitting at, what kind of microphone am I using. You already support hundreds of brands every single day and you do it for free. Everybody on earth, unless you live in a hobbit hole, is doing affiliate marketing for free. You're doing it for free. When you wear a Nike t-shirt, you're marketing for Nike. The only difference is you're not getting paid for it and someone else is getting paid for it. Now, if a brand reaches out to you and asks, what is your rate? This happens often. And for a long time, I had no idea what to say. So there, luckily now in the age of the internet, we have a couple handy tools that we can use. I Googled Instagram sponsored post calculator. You can type in your own username and it will bring up analytics for your page that I'm sure you didn't even know you had. This one is through influencermarketinghub.com. It generates for me my followers, my engagement rate, and my estimated earnings per post. Now keep in mind that you may have a much higher quality audience than someone else with the same amount of followers. So for Instagram, for example, the average cost for an influencer post is anywhere from 1% to 5% of your following. 5% being on the extremely high end where you will have an extremely high quality follower base. So if you have 10,000 followers, at minimum, you should be charging $100 per post. At maximum, $500 per post. Or I guess there shouldn't really be a maximum. I don't know. And brands often want to negotiate with you anyway, so do not be nervous about aiming high. They're going to want to negotiate down either way. Or maybe they have an extremely high budget set aside for this, so you are just shooting yourself in the foot by by degrading yourself down to the lowest possible rate you could charge. When someone doesn't know how to gauge quality, they use price as an indicator of quality. So if you're charging $20 for a post, actually brands might second guess why they would want to purchase a post from you if you're only charging $20. Value yourself and realize how valuable social media is for marketing for these brands. I hope this was helpful for you and let me know what else you want to know about from a full-time artist perspective. Leave it in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe because I wouldn't be a YouTuber if I didn't say that. Bye guys, go get creative.